Hello everyone. Today we will learn subject max standard fifth chapter four parts and whole part number seven. Today is my topics are equivalent fraction and types of fractions. Topic review. In earlier video, which which topic we have conducted that we will see first whole. parts of whole and word problem we have conducted in last video today today's topics are numerator and denominator equivalent fraction and types of fraction let's see with numerator and denominator what is numerator and what is denominator let's see the number on the top of bar is called numerator here you can see a up a then line and b so a is called numerator the number on top of bar is called numerator the line separating the top and bottom number is called the fraction bar the line separating the top and bottom number is called fraction bar you can see here a line between a and b that is called fraction bar the number below the bar is called denominator the number below the bar is called the denominator so you can see here b is denominator a is numerator the line is called fraction bar and b is called denominator now here you can see the picture of pizza the pizza is divided into four parts so total number of parts of pizza are four now pizza is your whole its parts are four means in whole whenever its total parts are there that total part we write as a denominator and the number of parts shaded that we write as a numerator you can see here number of parts shaded are three so that's why we have written numerator and total number of parts are four that's why we write as a denominator four so you know how, now you come to know what is numerator and what is denominator numerator will remain on top and denominator denominator remains at bottom or down side so one is numerator and two is denominator you can see in this example now next topic is equivalent fraction what is equivalent fraction let's see its definition so definition of equivalent fraction is equivalent fractions are different fraction that name the same number one more time equivalent fractions are different fraction that name the same number now here you can see four circle here all four circles are whole means each circle is whole but it is divided into different parts let's see one by one first circle is divided into two parts and one part is shaded so we can write its fraction is 1 by 2 why we write 1 by 2 because one part is shaded and total number of parts are 2 that's why next total in second slide second shape you means in second circle you can see that there are four parts out of four parts two parts are shaded so its fraction is 2 by 4 same way in third circle three parts are shaded and total number of parts are 6 so its fraction is 3 by 6 same way in fourth circle you can see there are eight parts and out of eight part four parts are shaded so its fraction is 4 by 8 but if you observe them observe them then you will come to know that all the four circle are shaded half of the circle each circle is shaded half halfly so you can say that or if you compare all the four circle then all four circle are shaded half so we can say that all four circle are equivalent equivalently shaded so we can also say that there fractions are also equivalent yes it is right so 2 upon 4 3 upon 6 and 4 upon 8 are equivalent fraction of 1 by 2 
how to find equivalent fraction for that let's see the procedure to find equivalent fraction multiply the numerator and denominator by the same non-zero whole number once again to find equivalent fractions multiply the numerator and denominator by same non-zero whole number a non-zero whole number means you have to take a number any whole number but you cannot take as a zero so you can take any whole number now find out let me let us do one example find out phi equivalent fraction of 3 by 4 let's calculate and find out equivalent fraction by multiplying with both numerator and denominator by same number find find out phi equivalent fraction of 3 upon 4 before we find phi uh, equivalent fraction of 3 by 4 we will understand the procedure and then after we will find out the equivalent fraction so what is the procedure to find equivalent fraction multiply numerator and denominator multiply numerator and denominator by same number by same number once again to find equivalent fraction multiply the numerator and denominator by same number let's do solution you have to find phi equivalent of 3 by 4 so 3 by 4 now 3 by 4 is numerator and denominator it is a fraction now we have to multiply with same number so let's multiply it with 2 on both sides so 3 2 ja 6 4 2 ja 8 so 6 upon 8 is equivalent fraction of 3 by 4 another we multiply with 3 on both sides 3 3 ja 9 3 4 ja 12 so we get another that is 9 upon 12 another equivalent fraction 9 upon 12 next 3 upon 4 multiply by 4 upon 4 so again we have to multiply 3 4 za 12 4 4 za 16 so we get the third one so 12 upon 16 is equivalent fraction of 3 upon 4 3 by 4 multiply by 5 now we have taken here another number 5 we will multiply with numerator and denominator so 3 5 is a 15 4 5 is a 20 so we get another equivalent fraction that is 15 upon 20 now last 3 upon 4 you can take any number to find out equivalent fraction you cannot take it like in series only 2 3 4 5 you can take any number whole number so now i am taking here 10 3 tens are 30 4 tens are 40 so we get 30 upon 40 so, so the fifth one equivalent fraction is 30 upon 40 so we have find out phi equivalent fractions of 3 upon 4 they are 6 upon 8 9 upon 12 12 upon 16 15 upon 20 and 30 upon 40 i think you have understood now our next topic is types of fraction here types of fraction are divided into three parts proper fraction improper fraction and mixed fraction let us learn one by one all types of fraction first one is proper fraction 
in a fraction when numerator is smaller than denominator then the fraction is called proper fraction one more time in a fraction when numerator is smaller than denominator then the fraction is called proper fraction you can see here different example of proper fractions are given let's see one by one first one is 2 upon 3 2 upon 3 here 2 is numerator and 3 is denominator according to definition 2 is smaller than 3 means numerator is smaller than denominator so the given fraction is proper fraction same way you can see 3 upon 6 5 upon 7 and 16 upon 40 in that denominators are bigger than numerator so they all are proper fraction next you can see here example of proper fraction 2 by 4 1 by 4 and 3 by 4 in these all three example all the fractions have denominator bigger than numerator so they all are proper fraction next is improper fraction in a fraction when numerator is bigger than denominator when numerator is bigger than denominator then the fraction is called improper fraction one more time in a fraction when numerator is bigger than denominator then the fraction is called improper fraction you can see here fractions are given their examples are given let's see first example 3 upon 2 3 is numerator and 2 is denominator here 3 is bigger than 2 so numerator is greater than denominator so the given example is improper fraction same way 6 upon 3 and 40 upon 60 both are improper fraction because the numerator is bigger than denominator next is mixed fraction a fraction which has whole number and proper fraction is called mixed fraction one more time a fraction which has whole number and proper fraction is called mixed fraction you can see in example three examples are given you can see the first one one two circles are given one circle is shaded whole and another circle is shaded half so for whole we write one that is whole number and for second uh, second circle it is shaded only half so we can write fraction 1 by 2 1 by 2 is proper fraction because numerator is smaller than denominator so our fraction is 1 1 by 2 that is mixed fraction because in that one number is whole number and another fraction is proper fraction so the given example is mixed fraction example same way 1 3 by 4 and 3 1 by 4 are also example of mixed fraction differentiate the following fraction into proper improper and mixed fraction here examples are given that example we have to fill in the table according to proper improper and mixed fraction let's take first number 4 upon 6 4 upon 6 is proper fraction improper fraction or mixed fraction according to definition we will come to know and we will put according to definition in each group in proper fraction pro improper or mix 4 upon 6 4 is new uh, 4 is numerator and 6 is denominator your numerator is smaller than denominator so it will come in proper fraction same way 12 upon 8 12 upon 8 12 is bigger than 8 means here numerator is bigger than denominator so it is improper fraction next is 16 upon 42 16 is smaller than 42 means numerator is smaller than denominator so it will come in proper fraction next is 21 upon 7 
21 is bigger than 7. So, numerator is bigger than 7. So, it will come in improper fraction. Next is 5, 2 by 6. Here 5 is whole number and 2 by 6 is proper fraction. So, it will come in mixed fraction. Remaining you can arrange yourself. Hope you understand the video. Thank you.